Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. I am Marcus and today I'll run you through a couple of rounds, maybe a full playthrough of Halls of Hegra, which is about to launch on Kickstarter. And the fine folks at Tompet Games, mainly Peter, was kind enough to send me a prototype preview copy of this game. So yes, everything that you see today is a prototype, even though some of the artwork already looks outstanding and amazing. But yes, you will definitely see some, let's say, un polished components here and there. I'm also playing with the beta rules of the games. I personally think he did an amazing job putting those rules together. I think these are the best preview prototype rules I had the pleasure of playing a game with or trying a game with, but still I may stumble upon a thing or two in this game. So if you see this video when you already have the final product in your hands, then yeah, don't hold it against me. What is Halls of Higra? Maybe let's have a quick look at the first page of the rulebook. I had to print it out myself. Beta rules, keep that in mind. From an abandoned mountain fortress, you command a group of Norwegian volunteers fighting numerically as superior German forces in the early days of World War II. And yes, Halls of Hegra is a solo only game where you play as the commander during the siege. And which is then basically divided into three stages. But what are we trying to achieve here is to survive full 11 turns of this game. If we ever enter the siege stage of the game, we are then comparing this little table here and checking how many healthy defenders we still have. And if, have, and if that number is below that, that number here, depending on where we are on this surrender track here, then we have automatically lost the game. The same is true if that surrender track ever makes it here to the unconditional surrender. In between, we are pulling chits as some kind of a chit pull system. We are placing our defenders, some kind of a worker placement game. We are playing a little bit of a tower defense game. We have a tactical map up here where we are sending our supply runs out and maybe later on try to get rid of some of those artilleries, German artilleries that might be spawned here, all just to survive 11 turns in order not to lose this game. The game consists of four stages. We start with the mobilization step where the Germans are still far out and we are in a position to prepare our defenses, um, convincing the local people to join the resistance and whatnot. Then we are moving into the first attacks where we start to see the first German soldiers, um, at least on the, let's call it, tower defense map. We have the Siege 1, the Siege 2, and then at the very last turn of the game, we are dealing with the last stand. And then if we are still alive and have enough healthy defenders left, we might have have won the game. Again, we are starting with the mobilization and as usual, I will explain the game as I go. So let's draw our very first event card again from the mobilization stack. We are checking the weather condition. Right now it's cloudy, which is okay. We are losing some movement, but nothing else. We have some little fluff text here. We need to bolster the fortress gate, perhaps that will slow down the enemy. And typically those events are all bad. In this case, we have to remove one miss from the hit bag. Right now there is only one miss in there as part of setup, which means we only have an artillery token left. That is, here it is. So if we now have to pull from this back, we know what we are drawing. That's at least something. Up next, we are adding doubt discs based on our current doubt level into the recruit break. This is the chit pull system, so let's do that. I understand that the final version of the game comes with pink doubt discs because doubt is always pink. <laughs> I don't know what this is. And then we are finally getting to draft more defenders for our fortress. So let's do that. And the way how this works is we are allowed to pull basically up to four chits out of this back or until we are drawing one of those doubt discs. Right now there are two in there, one as part of setup and one which we just added. And here we have a soldier. Right now there is no reason to stop because we always get at least one of those defenders. Here we have a hunter and now we can decide if we want to stop because if we are now drawing a doubt token from that, we are only allowed to place one of those defenders into the ready area. The other one is out of the game and the doubt token goes back to the um, recruit back. So I think in this case, let's do one more and I think I will stop here. Getting three defenders out in the very first round of the game isn't bad at 
all. Yeah, I definitely do like that. So let's move all of those fine folks here to the ready area. And that was basically already the morning phase. Normally would now also be allowed to pay supplies to move tired soldiers or defenders into the ready areas and whatnot during the very first round of the game. That's not going to happen, obviously. And then we are basically planning our actions for this first turn of the game. So we are using all those nice looking Norwegian flap a flag action markers here accordingly and the way how this works is let's look at one of those examples here we have the shovel snow action we have the repair action normally again here is a times one which means we only need to send one worker in there in case we are sending a green a defender in here which is a hunter this counts double which means if we are sending a hunter this hunter would basically shovel double the amount of snow. The officer, basically us, will never go in there. So he's too good for that. No, he definitely has more important things to do than shoveling snow. Similarly here, the repair action, for example, as part of the maintenance step, uh, it takes two workers in order to trigger that action once. We can send four workers in there or four um, let's say soldiers, defenders in there in order to trigger that one twice. Again, the officer will not go here. And that's basically how all of those actions work. There are individual actions which are, which are not yet available, like the defend the walls. We have nothing to defend from. We don't have any unlocked special rooms or action spaces here, which we first have to duck out from that snow here, for example. But for the most part, most of the actions are available. I think think we will start to negotiate so let's send our officer in here again we have to send two workforce in here the officer would count twice so basically one officer is enough to trigger that action more than once again we can send more than one the only let's say exception to that is the defend the walls or fire at the german actions up here which only takes one defender per circle or per box later on do we want to open a new supply round this round or not? I think we may want to wait on this until we see if any Germans would come out or German patrol status. So let's not do that just yet. We are definitely hmm, going out on a supply run and we are sending our hunter out. The main reason for that is the hunter is not suffering any penalties um, when carrying supplies or supply tokens later on in the game and right now with the current not so great weather conditions i think this might become important we do want to shovel some snow for sure so i guess we are sending in three defenders here in order to unlock um, one of those snow cards and i show you why and then we still have four soldiers defenders left in this case they're are reasons why we wouldn't send out all of those because right now our supplies are very very limited and we need those in order to let's call it reactivate our defenders in the next turn so if we're now spending everything we might really run short of workers the next turn so i still think we should send two more and just to make sure i guess we want to repair something again this space takes two d Defenders in order to repair once, but I think doing this once this very first turn of the game is okay. And then I guess I will stop planning for this morning phase. Next, we are moving into the day phase where we are actually triggering all those actions. We start at basically defend the walls but during the mobilization stage of the game we are not really doing this we are only triggering those two actions so we will start to negotiate and for each action we unlock there we can decide if we want to decrease our fear or our doubt and really decreasing the fear might become crucial for the late game we definitely do want to have that at two or one ideally one but we don't want it on three because we would lose um, that amount of defenders from our recruit break at basically the end of this mobilization stage. This officer is now tired for the next day or for the next turn that is, but we can again 
spent supplies later on in order to reactivate them and move them back to the ready area. That was already defend the walls. Next, we are checking our gun. Right now it's fully damaged and we haven't assigned any workers anyway, so we can skip over that. Then we do our supply run. First of all, we are sending all the workers that we have assigned or defenders that we have assigned here to the fortress area of the tactical map. This is basically it. Then we are moving every defender on the tactical map. And even though if we wouldn't have assigned extra or new workers the next turn those folks that are here on the map would still move and right now our only valid target up here is this supply depot which gives us more supplies um, the hunter or basically everyone can move up to five spaces one two three four five if we are making it into a supply depot we have to stop but of course we are definitely carrying one of those um, supply tokens which we have to bring back the next turn in order to really gain something from it right now this hunter doesn't do us any good whatsoever but again preparing for the next turn to come that was already the supply run step we are moving into the maintenance step and we are shoveling some snow again we have a signed three of those defenders here they're all tired going to the tired area but each one of those will shovel one piece of snow one two three which means we are flipping the top snow card here so let's see what we get and that's the counter patrol now that's nice because this one allows us or gives us an extra action slot for basically the next supply run or one of the next supply runs here i think i really do like that so let's place that into the according action space here and unfortunately we have to damage the right most token from that so right now we can still assign um, soldiers in here or defenders in here in order to take out enemy patrols but if we would also repair that second space here we could also reduce our suspicion track which really could become important at some point in time but yeah that was already the shovel snow action the last thing to do here is to pretty much reset this one to a three so if we want to have another of those snow cards we have to do that exercise all over again over to the repair which says remove one damage tile or ungem one action space right now nothing is gemmed and i think the most crucial part right now is to repair our defense positions here we want to be able to ideally move three soldiers in there as part of the coup step basically the la uh, the third turn of the game here so at the end of the mobilization stage but again i will come to that the thing is this damage is not entirely removed from the game it simply goes into the hit back so when we have to resolve it we do know right now we have an artillery tile in here and we could damage this fortress uh, the defense position here again so this really always comes back to bite us which is definitely a nail biter those two soldiers that we use to repair stuff they will go back in here and i think that's basically it for the action phase in theory we would now also check the infirmary but we don't have any injured uh, defenders in here whatsoever let's move into the morale step in theory we could increase our morale depending a little bit on our die doubt marker we could lose some morale depending on this but none of those are triggering so we are not at a red day we still have supplies and so on so we are not moving the morale track in any way it's right now on the neutral position so we are not gaining a high morale card which would be a good thing but we're also not suffering from a low morale card which obviously would be a bad thing so next we would influence our surrender track so if we would have for example three or more defenders in the morgue we would increase the surrender track and increasing in this case is a bad thing or if we would have four or more defenders in the waiting areas if we would have a Hillary but that really shouldn't happen at the first turn of the game so the last thing basically to do is to check the turn marker for any German patrol markers and as we are in round one we are checking this in this case we are adding two patrol markers to the tactical map and this could be now really bad actually and as we are in the mobilization stage of the game we are only looking at this row here this would be the first attack row this would be the siege one row this would be the siege two row so where do we place this patrol it goes to position number four i can live with that even though i was really considering on building this supply depot up here that's a good one and the second one goes into two and i think that's a totally fine one as well so at least we have made sure by chance basically to um, allow this hunter to make it back to the fortress unharmed basically and i do like that and then the really last thing to do is to move the turn marker to round two again we are still in the mobilization stage of the game so we are drawing our next event card and see what it does 
And that's something I really do appreciate in typically a lot of these war games. They have all this procedural flow which you ha can follow through relatively naturally. And if you really stick to this, you should be in an okay shape. And you really did an amazing job with those rules, by the way. So let's flip this one over. And it's, oh wow, that's a very tough one. The prospect of bitter cold and frostbite is taking its toll on the recruits. We are still in a cloudy weather, but we are losing to morale in this case. And if we would leave it at that point, we would draw three low, low morale cards and would have to resolve two. And these are really devastating. Let's not forget to add one doubt token to the recruit back. And then we are again getting more defenders. So let's quickly do that. So here we have another soldier. I will definitely draw one more. And this is a doubt token. Bam. Okay. Which means we have to stop at this point in time. We are allowed to take this soldier with us. So this was really a very tough draw. This doubt token goes back into the bag, of course. Yeah. And that was terrible. We only got one extra defender in this case. Uh, we still are allowed to use our supplies to move defenders from the tired area to the ready area. And right now for every supply we have, we can move up to four defenders based on this one. This will decrease over time, rest assured. We can also spend morale in order to move two more, but uh, yeah, let's not do that. We already lost two morale. So we are definitely spending our one and only supply to move one, two, three, and four discs over here. And after that, we are still allowed to move up to two defenders from the tired area to the rest error. We cannot use them this turn, but they will become available during turn three. So they might still be able to help us. Problem is right now we are out of supplies, which means we would lose another morale if this would be the end state at the end of this turn. Let's do something about that. I definitely do think we need to increase our morale, which means we are moving our officer here to the inspire action. Again, we need to provide two strength. The officer brings two strength, and this would allow me to move the morale marker one step up. I think I'm not doing that again. And I also think we need to open a new supply route. But this is also too, we are really in a very bad shape this turn. But this is our preparation stage of the game. Whatever we are not doing here, like opening new supply routes, we won't be able to do again um, once we are in the first attack or later stages of the game. So I think we have to do that. We have to certainly do that. Let's also send out a new supply team, only one. We could now debate if we want to use our counter patrol marker here, but I think right now none of those enemy patrols are in our way. So I guess we are not going to do that unless we want to do the, let's do that. Um, I have changed my mind. We are trying to take out um, this one German patrol. Again, this normally takes two strength, but again, the soldier counts twice, which means one soldier is enough for the counter patrol actions. We have two more to go in and things this round, we have to use them all. So we are eithering again, repairing. I think we are not shoveling snow this round. If we are getting more defenders next round, we may want to consider that. But for this round, we are either a de repair or bolster. I I think I want to repair first, actually. Yeah, let's do more repairs. And now we are out of defender, so let's resolve those actions. We start with the open new supply route, add delivery tokens to a new supply depot. These folks are still tired, but now we are allowed to choose any one of those supply depots out here. And I think I will go for the miss tokens one, because this again allows me to add more miss tokens to the hit back. Uh, as we already lost one, I think that's our best bet right now. Then again, we are triggering our supply run. Again, the artillery is still not repaired, so we can directly jump into stage three of this turn. So we are sending this fella out. We are using our counter patrol. This one is immediately tired, but allows us to remove any one of those patrols. And we are going for this one here, obviously. Not out of the game as well. This token goes right back into 
the control back. Then we are moving our fine folks here. Again, we are at a, in a cloudy situation, which means everyone can move up to five spaces. If someone is carrying a supply token, that is reduced by one, but not for the hunters. They ignore this penalty. So this hunter can still move five spaces, and that's important. One, two, three, four, and five which means we can gain some spoils here. First of all, we are always getting two supplies. No matter which token we have moved back to our fortress, we are getting two. We are also getting the specialty from the token. In this case, that's another supply. And on top of this, we are also allowed to move our morale one stage up. But unfortunately, we also have to increase our suspicion track accordingly. This only comes into the picture if one of our supply runs run into a whatever German patrol or into an artillery space, for example. But I definitely do like that we are taking those three supplies and placing them here, which means we are not suffering from any morale loss at the end of this turn. This token, unfortunately, is out of the game, never to be seen again, but it's still worth it. The hunter that made it back is unfortunately also tired, but again, we can pay to revitalize him and then we are still still allowed to move our um, friend out. Um, we want to make it either here, one, two, three, four, five. We could make it here just to make sure. I think in this case we have just gotten rid of it, but getting those is also so extremely important. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's move him in here. Again, he can move up to five spaces as he's not carrying any supplies. If we would move to snow, we would only have a one to four movement and terrible stuff would happen to this snow trick here. But that's basically our supply run. Now let's rip pair stuff and I, normally I would go for the artillery but right now we are doing okay in respect to the German patrols so I guess I'm repairing my second defense position here again those folks are tired we are unfortunately also adding this damage marker to the hit back which is not terrible and last but not least we are inspiring our troops this is really a very tiresome effort for our officer but it allows us to increase our morale back to a more neutral level now that wasn't bad at all then we can basically stay here we are not suffering from any morale modifiers still not a red day we have no we are not out of supplies and what we are not triggering that more um, morale track here which again is a good and a bad thing um, so up here we are countering good things down here we are suffering from terrible things we can basically also ignore the surrender track here we also don't have to suffer from any additional patrols we are not at the coup stage here so let's simply move our turn track into turn three at the end of this turn we will add two more patrols and we will have to suffer the coup consequences that is outlined over here let's move into the next turn let's draw our next event card and it's sunny it seems we are getting reports on german soldiers being placed around the farms on the way to hegra uh, that's bad um we have to add two patrols and our Fear marker moves one level up. Now that's not great at all. And those patrols could also be pretty terrible. That's a five. I take that. I think that was okay. And the second one is a three, which is something we can live with too. So not the end of the world. We are still adding one more doubt disc into the recruit back here. Again, our doubt level is at one. It hasn't moved. We could have moved it down two stages and then we would gain more morale at the end of every Every round but maybe that's a strategy I haven't tried that yet but so far that yeah the recruit pack wasn't really against me in my previous playthroughs the turn two now the last turn where we only got one defender out of the back was pretty bad speaking about defenders we get more and hopefully this time we are getting something better that's another soldier I take that we will continue. That's another volunteer. Good thing about volunteers is they come with extra supplies. So if I stop here, I get some supplies. And right now I think we have four of those doubt discs in there. Oof, that's a tough call. But let's not be greedy. Let's stop here. Might be a terrible mistake. Maybe 
because we only got one let's let's continue to draw it could be terrible but yeah let's let's draw one more and no of course no that was so bad yeah i think we are getting the soldier this one is out of the game basically there could be some effects which could bring them back later on but this doubt bag also goes back to the recruit bag so that was a terrible choice marcus really not great so i was too greedy in the end we are moving those folks over from the rest area here and then we are spending one to move one two three four ah that's now kind of a waste hmm as we and i think i didn't move that marker to the sunny space actually apologies because again if we are now spending a supply we would still get all three of those but we are missing out because we could move up to four but i still think for the last turn of this mobilization stage we have to have all our oh do we actually hmm yeah let's do that i think we get more supplies um at the end of this turn relatively easily yeah yeah let's do that now let's plan some actions again i do need my fear level at least one stage down question is do we want to do that again or not let's see how everything else do we don't have to plan that in that order so i can move or plan back and forth of course let's see how the other um, stations are looking we definitely want to send out at least one more supply run mm -hmm. do we want to deal with the counter patrol let's 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 think this through i think we also want to shuffle some more snow so we are adding this in here and this fella in here question is do we need the hunter now out this round because we are not getting him back anyway mm, that's a that's a good point so maybe i think we can be more efficient let's not set the send the hunter to the supply run set the soldier on a supply run and simply add the hunter in here it counts double so we only need one more volunteer which means we have still one more volunteer left to do other stuff let's definitely repair something for sure yeah i think this does make sense because now we still have four more defenders left and the majority of those actions take two let's say strength points i guess we also need to bolster at least once and then we could still debate if we want to hmm, negotiate once more or maybe repair a second time hmm of course we also could go crazy and open up another supply route which i've never done in my previous games i typically always ended up with one additional supply depot but that was mainly due to whatever the situation every game plays completely differently i think this is now the fourth time i think the first time was only a part-time thing that i'm playing this game and every time it felt completely different this very first mobilization card or maybe the first two is already changing the game in so many ways each time which really speaks volumes for the replayability of this game so i guess yeah let's let's open up a new supply route again might be a terrible choice in the end but let's see about that let's trigger those actions so we will start with the negotiating which means we are driving down the fear trick here accordingly this officer is tired but that's okay then let's open the supply route those folks are also tired and i believe this time i will go for this supply depot which can increase my morale again nothing to shoot with because our artillery is still damaged which is about to change i believe so let's move the new soldier into the fortress we are not using our counter patrol this round or this turn that is in a war game it's typically turns right the normal euro game speaks of rounds i don't know what this is but let's move those folks again we have now fine weather which means they can move up to six bases minus one because they are carrying something but that's really great one two three four five so this fella makes it back to the fortress again he's tired we are getting always two we are getting one more for this token this token is out our suspicion goes up by one but we might actually end up with a high morale card at the end of this round now that's really something and now this fella i believe has to go to the one of those depots up here so one two three four 
five. Again, we have to stop, even though we would have in theory one more movement point, we have to stop in those supply depots and likewise down here at the fortress. But I think that was definitely worth it. Let's shovel some snow. We have three strength points in here, two from the hunter, one from our volunteer, which means we are shoveling one, two, three times. We are flipping our top card and here we have some hidden tools, which is a one-time effect. So there are two kinds of snow cards, these one-time effects and then extra action spaces like the counter patrol we have unlocked. In this case, we repair one damage tile or add one hist marker. I think this goes without saying, we need more miss markers in that hit back here, not hit, hit marker, hit, a miss token in that back. I think that this is crucial, but this, these tools are now out of the game for good. And yeah, those folks are obviously tired and the snow resets. Up next, we are repairing our gun, right? So yeah, these two folks are also tired. So we are allowed to repair this one. Of course, you already know the drill. This token also goes to the hit back. So right now it's five versus one or so. So we will definitely suffer from something rather sooner than later. And now we have a difficult choice in respect to our bolster action. We could add another mistile to the back or we could simply increase our defenses. As we have the miss supply depot, I think we are rather going to increase our defense fences here which will later on help us to yeah protect our defenders when the germans are starting to move in and yeah of course let's not forget those folks are also tired and i think those were all of our actions let's check the morale track again doubt marker we can ignore it's not a red day even though it's the last turn of the first stage we are not out of supplies no waiting areas or nothing in the infirmary basically we don't have any german soldiers here on the map anyway so we can totally ignore that so that's basically it we are drawing two high morale cards and get to pick one and that's a nice one actually mm, okay we could either we are in the mobilization stage which means we could either gain more resources which never is a bad thing or we could move the snow markers two steps to the left which means in theory would only need one more defender next turn to get another snow card and again those snow cards are huge and as i really do have some supplies left right now and we gain more at least potentially during the next turn or so i'm really tempted to go for this one here yeah let's do that this one is shuffled back into the high morale deck this one is basically discarded but again this one allows us to move the snow marker one two steps to the left we have to reset our morale track here unfortunately we can totally ignore the surrender table but we have to deal with the coup. First of all, we have to bring out two more German patrols, which could be really bad news for our German soldier out there in the supply depot. That's the first one. This goes to six. Yeah, that's also not great, but good. We have the counter patrol unlocked. This definitely does help. And this goes to the one, which I think is okay. The one thing that we really needed this turn is this one. No, I like that. That was really extremely lucky. But as we are now in the coup step of, of the basically mobilization stage we have to resolve this one here first of all we are drawing x amount of discs from the recruit back according to the fear number which is two we ignore unfortunately doubt this so we are always lose one so here we have one volunteer and here we have a medic so those folks basically left us out of fear we weren't convincing enough to make them stay so they have escaped us unfortunately but yeah that's the game we will always lose that amount of course if you would have bring, brought it down to zero or one that would have been much better but it is what it is up next we are moving our supply marker one step to the right which means our supplies are now less effective so for each cube we are spending at the turn or at the start of the turn of every following round we can only reactivate three of those discs so yeah things will definitely get much tougher but the good thing is we are now allowed to place up to three um, defenders onto our defense position because we have unlocked those so I guess let's do that and if we do that with three soldiers in that case 
which we definitely do, we can also receive a morale bump by one. If we would have also repaired the last defense position and placed another soldier in the only soldiers count in this case, we would have even gained two morale points. But one is totally fine in this case, as it's a good basis for the next turn to come. And last thing to do, we are removing those cubes and we are flipping the board in here, which now shows us the tower defense mechanics. That's the first stage of the first attack here. Later on, we will have more sectors in here. We still have a charge. We see hit distances and whatnot. So a whole lot of new mechanics will now come to light and really you will like that for sure. But that's basically the end of the first stage. We are moving into the first attack stage. So let's draw our first first attack event card and no it's snowy now that didn't work out so we are moving this in here and this means we are moving our snow track to the right so this yeah we should have gone for the supply so we still need two folks in order to flip the next snow card still it's worth it because if the snow makes it all the way to six basically um, we are drawing one tile from the hit back. So that's also something we definitely do want to ignore or avoid. But that's not all. Yeah, we are losing one morale. What is the event actually? We can hold out much longer. We need to retreat back to the fortress soon. Okay, so again, we are losing one morale. That's not the end of the world because we were just increasing it. Of course, I was hoping for a high morale card, but there are still things we can do. Then we have to injure a defender. And this is when we are looking at those symbols here on the right of this card so oh that's bad so we have to injure a soldier in this case the only comfort is they always come from the tired area here so let's roll the die and see how bad it is and that's a six a six is great okay uh, the dice are working for me i like that so this fine gentleman is basically auto healed at the end of this turn to some extent and because that's Theoretically, the last thing that will happen here at the infirm, but he's consuming one of our bats or occupying one of our three bats. And whenever we are running out of bats, so folks have to go to the waiting area. In the waiting area, the condition will deteriorate, similar to Healthy Heart Hospital, which I also do like. And if we have a certain amount of folks in there, we are losing morale and our surrender track might go up. But I believe that's basically the end of the event. We still still have to add now our first German soldier to the map. We are looking at this one here and this says we are adding three and we are always starting here in the waiting area of sector one in this case. Each of those sectors can only hold up to five and for every excess they are moving up one position and if they are moving into the charge step in here that's typically bad and also having soldiers now in the red zone here will also decrease our morale at the end of this turn. So we really need to do something. Good thing is we are having three soldiers in our defense position so I think we are in okay shape for this turn. Next we have to perform the infantry attack in this case. The first step is to check if we have any defenders in our defense position which we just checked so we can basically ignore the first sub stage of this one. In this case we are now rolling some dice for those actual folks which means we have three soldiers in here and depending on the role we are doing things with them. On a one or two nothing would happen, three or four they would simply move up, on a five or six they are starting to hit us. And that could be pretty devastating. So I think those two folks are not going to move. Or the first, doesn't really matter which one is not moving. Because on a one or two, nothing happens. The six, unfortunately, goes into the hit area. Which means we would take a hit. I'm really happy that I have increased my defenses here. Because for every defense here, we can increase the total amount of hits by one. In this case, we are not suffering any hits whatsoever. So this fella is basically simply moving back in here. I think I like that actually. That was an okay turn in respect to the infantry attack. But of course, we have to do something about it. But again, we have three dice up here. We are still using our artillery, so we could even take out those fellas here with our artillery. So I guess for now we are in an okay shape. But then we are still allowed to draw more defenders from the back. So let's see how, and that's a doubt token right off the bat. Are you kidding me? So we still get to draw one disc. That's another, although we continue to draw until we gain one disc and then we have to basically call it. 
And that's another soldier we gain that soldier, but those two doubt tokens go back into the back. No more doubt tokens are being added in here. So three more are in the reserve. There could be event cards which would add doubt tokens. I'm really not certain about this one, but yeah. Hmm, we are definitely spending one reserve. And right now we are only getting three for each, right? So one, two, and three. I think we have to do that again. We need more defenders because right now we have three folks locked in here and one here in the infirmary. But okay then, let's plan some actions. Um, I still am inclined to shovel some more snow with our hunter here. Let's do that because again, this would move it here and we would gain stuff. Yeah, why not? We definitely want more supply runs. In this case, I will send a volunteer in here and I guess we also will start to take down Patrol. So let's use our counter patrol here. We have to do some damage control here to some extent. And then we still have four more discs left. We have our officer who now either could promote someone or inspire. And I right now we're really tempted to inspire once more. I think we want more of those good cards as long as we can get those. Yeah, let's do that. And then we have three more meeples, oh meeples, <laughs> three more defenders left. I don't think we need someone in the infirmary because he's in a bad, so he will auto heal basically as part of the relapse and recovery step here. We could fire, we can only send soldiers in there and with fire, I think I mainly want to take out more patrols, but I do have the counter patrol out, I think. That may not be our best plan. So we could debate if we want to repair because if we're repairing um, the second space of the gun, mm, ah, that's, <laughs> that's a tough one. Or we could bolster, let's bolster once more. At a missed time, no, we are bolstering this one, I believe, uh, the defense, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's that. So before the, we are triggering our actions, we are leaving this soldier in the ready area for the next turn. I think we could send him out on a supply run, but for now, mm, let's not do that. So now for the first time, we will fire at some Germans here. We have three defense positions here, roll one die per defender. And yeah, basically everything counts as a success. That's a good thing. So we could either suppress some of those folks, which is not bad, or we can ideally hit those and then they're basically returned to the reserve. As they're all soldiers, they can definitely hit also sector one, the um, volunteers and the hunter. They are not that skilled or trained, um, so they can only reach someone in here. So I think for that it's okay. We are simply rolling three dice. Now it doesn't matter really who is who in this case. And that's not bad. So we have one suppressed, so we are laying him down and two are basically taken out. Awesome stuff. So we are going to move into the supply step again. We haven't fired our artillery, which I guess is really okay. So this volunteer goes in here. We are using our counter patrol. Um, this is tired. And by the way, the defense positions never get tired, which is really a good thing. They're really wholeheartedly um, trying to defend our position here. But of course, they are very likely to get injured relatively soon. So that's the price that you basically have to pay. Let's move our folks on the map. As we have to deal with snow, this fella can only move three spaces. So four minus one. One, two, three three but that's still okay oh we haven't used our counter patrol of course we are shooting down this fella here we need it and yeah unfortunately we are also not going to that's really a waste actually maybe i shouldn't have sent out someone this one but okay not going to take it back as we have rolled dice and whatnot one two three and four I think we want more supplies for the turns to come. Then we are shoveling some snow. He can do that very effectively. One, two, this will reset, but we get the top most snow cut here. And that's the map room, which is another action space we are unlocking here. The, the right one, they always come in basically damaged. So we have to repair it first to gain this one. And really moving the snow market to space. So we, could, ah, we haven't repaired this turn now. Oh, that's bad but the normal ability when you send someone in here and those volunteers count double look at and rearrange top three snow piles mm, that's not 
that actually because we can basically choose our things our rewards there and again it this will really help us to get more resources out i think i may like that but for now let's place it in here of course we still have to plan it and yeah this is unfortunately not available but this can become a very powerful action and then we are bolstering and again i think we need to increase our defense Defenses. There are a lot of ways how the defenses could get decreased and if it drops below zero we would automatically draw a tile from the hit bag. And right now you know the hit bag it's terrible. Then we are going to inspire our folks which means our morale goes up by one and then for the first time in the game we are resolving the infirmary. We don't have any actions here but again we are still doing the relapse and recovery step. Move all patients in the waiting area down one level, but all patients in bed up one level. In this case, this fine folk is basically being sent back to the tired area, but at least we can make use out of him rather sooner than later. Nice. I think those were all of our actions. We can jump into the morale modifiers. Let's go for that one more time because the game has changed somewhat now in the first attack stage again. Mobilization only doesn't happen anymore again. We are still not in a red day. Two turns away from a red day, that is. We are not out of supplies. We don't have any defenders in the waiting area, not in the morgue. We have soldiers out, but they are not in red sectors. So that's also a plus, which means we are not losing or gaining any morale, but we are still drawing two high morale cards and resolve one. This will always reset to zero afterwards. So let's see what we get. We are now in the siege one stage. We can either remove two patrols from the map hmm maybe or we can change oh that's a good one a, so a volunteer into a soldier basically a free promote action hmm i do like that one so we are triggering this one so we are pretty much promoting this fine gentleman into a full-blown soldier this is pretty much out of the game in the reserve area and this one goes back i think goes back to where it came from Originally, this card is pretty much out of the game for now. This is again shuffled back. It might be the same one we drew before. I don't know, but still, let's shuffle it back in. I believe we can still ignore the surrender table here. We are not in the siege step, so now we would be time. If we would be in a siege step, which is the next stage of the game, we would now check those things. And again, if our, the number of our defenders is ever lower than this number down here, and maybe I really should show that to you, then we would have automatically lost the games right now we are at honorable surrender which means we need five or more healthy defenders so folks in the infirmary do not count but they can be tired they can be in rest and they can be at defense positions i think right now we are in an okay shape there but again the game is still pretty young so the last thing to do in this case is to move to the second step of the first attack state at the end of this turn we are adding three more patrol markers in there but this means we are drawing our next event card from the first attack stage okay it's cloudy again which Mm, doesn't really matter too much. I, it's okay. I think better than snow for sure. We are adding two more patrols. Yeah, not great. The Germans are spreading out in the landscape surrounding the fortress, closing in on our positions. And we are adding four more German infantry here. But let's deal with those patrols first. So we are adding one. Now we are here in this row, by the way. So this goes into one. Yeah, this can come back to bite me, actually. And the second one goes in here. And that's a Three. And whenever we are not able to draw from this bag, I believe we are either drawing a hit token or something else terrible will happen. But never happened to me so far. So that's why really having patrol control is really crucial. So I'm really happy I do have this counter patrol here, which pretty much allows me to get back or return one of those patrol tokens pretty much every round if I'm spending this action, of course. But okay then, let's add four more infantry. Good thing is the sector can still hold four more. Even the exhausted one, the suppressed one, does count, of course. We are rolling some more dice. It's four now. Basically one for each standing defender, and that's terrible. Wow, what an awful roll. So we have one, two, three hits, and one is moving. 
yeah that wasn't great at all first of all we are resolving our hits we have three hits but only two defenses which now actually means we take the leftmost defensive position is injured so we are taking this fella here we are rolling his die to see how bad it was and that was a pretty bad i don't know almost a headshot or so wow worst position on those bats here now that was really not great then we are not done yet this fella will move into sector two we have to do something about that those folks will basically go back to their waiting area ready to shoot again wow now that was definitely a shock i mean i was really prepared for two hits but <laughs> getting three that was bad but okay then, we are still allowed to draw more tokens. And of course, yeah, this is now really getting worse and worse. We are, re we are not adding any discs in there. Um, and that's, a oh, the medic could come in handy actually. I do like that. So he goes to the ready area. This unfortunately goes back to this really dreadful recruit back now. I can and have to spend supplies. So one for sure, one, two, three. And I think we are spending basically both not sure if we want to really use tempo, but again, if it's really, let's call it an even number in respect to those supply markers, we really, if one would have been left or two would have been left, I may have not spent that one. And we are gaining some more, but the next turn will be challenging for sure. But yeah, um, I must tell you, I've never won this game. But okay, let's see about that. We have to plan things. We could still send folks back in here. And with two dice in here, I'm not sure if that's the best thing. We could also debate to send someone in here. But this also takes... I think we are going to send... Hmm, a medic doesn't go in here. The hunter, I think we want somewhere else. No, I guess we really have to send in another soldier in here i guess we also do our counter patrol why not and do we want i think we also need another hmm, supply run i think we have to do that we have to prepare let's do that so we are sending this fella in here yeah i definitely do want a medic in the infirmary medic counts twice so we can basically improve the health condition of that one soldier by three this round which again is not a bad starting point so we really have to take good care of him let's do inspire once more with our officer and then we have three more to go and given the recent result i'm somewhat inclined to bolster again to increase our defenses. Hmm. I mean, we are really at two. We are rolling really an awful lot of dice. And we're doing this sector by sector, actually. So every time we are rolling those dice, but every time we are also using our defenses. So poof, maybe let's repair stuff. Yeah, let's repair. And then we are triggering our action. So again, we have three dice so let's see and we get to choose basically everyone in range but these are soldiers so they can hit anything so we have one dead right we have one i think this should have been stood up now yeah that that should have been stood up as part of the infantry action i forgot that but yeah we definitely do want to kill this fella here i think that was important then we can basically suppress two more but you see, these, this is really ramping up throughout the game. We are not able to, so maybe I really should start to also use my artillery as of the next turn or so. Let's see about that. Then we do our supply run preparations. The hunter moves out. This one is tired, but we are getting rid of one. I think we have to take out this fella here. Right now we are not really using it, but still I think Think it's important then those folks are moving so let's start with this one one two he's coming back good thing is we are still adding two more supplies in here i think that's really important and for the bonus in here we are basically adding a miss marker to the hit bar i think we know it two if i recall that correctly but this is now out of the game for good and this fella is also tired this volunteer will move up here so that's the last supply from that depot so there is no point moving someone up there but we still have to do damage control here one two three four and 
five. Let's pick up another of those missed tokens. And that's basically the supply run step. Of course, I did forget we are increasing our morale, but we are also increasing our system and basically when we're adding it here it goes back to a three and then yeah we are adding another patrol there the higher it gets then let's repair something and as we have found the map room i'm really tempted to repair it the good thing really is mm, not only get we this cool effect but we are also adding a hit token which is not the end of the world if we are drawing it so it's almost almost like another miss in that bag so i think i like my chances there and then we are going to inspire which i definitely did forget that we are bringing back one of those folks but i'm okay drawing three and resolving two i think that's the best i ever encountered in the game here and last but not least, we are treating our patients here, which means it's a strength two worker here, one and two. Unfortunately, the medic is still tired. And then we are going for the relapse and recovery. So this fella heals by one. So we may want to send another medic in here or maybe a normal um, someone, but I think we have the medic anyway. And yeah, let's, let's send him there. Let's see. No red day, we are not out of supplies, no defenders in the waiting area, in the morgue, and we have taken care of that red, or the soldier in the red area, which means we are staying here. So we are drawing three of those high morale cards, amazing. And we get to resolve two. Wow, gaining two supplies, I think that is great. This one is also, I think we are definitely triggering this one. So we are adding two more supplies from that card. So that card is out of the game. There's nothing with artillery, unfortunately. So we could now, basically that's two thirds of a supply. But I think I do like this one here actually, because again, we might be able to get one more snow card. So yeah, let's do that again, actually. So it seems some volunteers have shoveled like crazy. This gets shuffled back into the high morale deck. We are resetting this, and then we have to add three more patrol markers out onto the board. Three right there, that's bad. And we are still going in this row, right? So that's a four goes in here let's see two more here is a five that goes in here some of those positions i really do not care about but it's still a position or it's still a patrol marker out and the third one goes into one now that's bad so we have to use our counter patrol for sure but i think think that's okay and then we are moving into the first red day of the game which means at the end of this turn the morale modifier will definitely kick in for the very first time for sure and there's nothing we can do about this other than really increasing our morale artificially by going to the inspire action and that's basically or oh, we are coming to the last turn of the first attack stage of the game so we have to continue to draw from that respective deck here um so we are in a cloudy situation and the morale is running low you have to do something so we're losing to morale so we may have to face our first low, low morale card this round but hopefully only one but let's not forget to add four more infantry in there right yeah one can go in here three need to go in there and that that's really bad mm, let's see we are starting basically from here up to there i think that's what we do right first of all we are rolling the die here they will act and that's i guess okay so one goes in here to the hit the other two one and two will do nothing i think we are standing this fella up or those fellas up and then we have to do the same up here again and what i'm really worried about now is, is basically both the hit and the move actually because here they are moving into the charge area and no <laughs> woohoo okay now we are talking so i'm no longer concerned about the charge area now i'm really concerned about the <laughs> hit area so we are basically resolving those from left to right and it's the full column which means we are taking four hits in total again we have two defenses uh, which means i think the two leftmost folks are injured here it doesn't really matter who is who so i'm simply rolling 
two dice and wow that's so terrible so one goes to one one goes to four so yeah things started to get interesting um yeah and we are running out of hospital beds relatively soon but that's the whole idea of this game i mean you need to feel the pressure so far it was almost like camping that's brutal let's not forget to add some more deep Fences. That's a blue one. We will definitely continue to draw. <laughs> That's the orange one. Uh, mandatory at this point in time. But we go for this. Again, every of those will come with one supply. Again, normally I would now move one here to the five. But because I'm now spending some, let's do that right away. We are still at three. But this will change, I believe, at the end of this turn as well. So we are spending one, one, two and three three yeah let's do that once more and move all over here at least supply wise it seems i am in an okay shape but now we really have to do something i'm not sure if i want to send someone out onto another supply one for sure i want to send out someone to the count patrol at least um we have two of those we may want to consider doing that twice so taking care of this and that let's do that let's do that and i think i can send more than one in here this fella should be able to make it back which would increase our morale by one so we may still want to inspire this round ah uh, let's wait on this first of all let's definitely send in one medic in here so they can heal either of those we also i think we should definitely send someone into the map room here the thing is we are also losing one but it's still okay right we can look and arrange rearrange top three snow piles i think they mean snow carts here and if we are sending yeah i think it's tempting let's send someone in here i think this is being resolved as part of the maintenance step here it's it's part of that gray area and then uh, we definitely need more defense positions in here that's two more dice but two more dice is not great if i send someone to the artillery we can make sure to hit two per revealed oh per reveal right now only one is revealed and we are suppressing the rest so this could be a good thing for here, but this would also mean we are... Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. I don't know. I mean, we are not taking out those fellas now, but we could suppress basically everyone down here. So maybe let's do this. Let's do this. I think that's a good idea. We will send this fella here and the officer will help over here because then we get him back. We, I don't want to have him locked. We can, in theory, exchange those fellas, but whoever we are exchanging here, they go back to the tired area first. So I think let's not do that. Wow, this will be a pretty brutal round, I believe. So let's fire those fellas here. And again, we can reach them all. Okay, these are two dead. I take that and I think one is suppressed and they go back in here. I'm not sure actually if we are also losing one if that fella is suppressed. I have to check that, but I think there's nothing I can do about that anyway right now. Oh gosh, this would be a terror, but at least we were able to get rid of two of those. I think that's not bad. Then for the first time we are firing our artillery. And per gun, right now we only have one gun. Um, I think we have, yeah, we have to dig it out. Um, we can we're looking at those symbols here and we are shooting at the infantry sector we can also shoot at the map row right now i think that's not our best bet or we can go for resolve one option per reveal thing and the option is up there which will allow us to remove air tile stacks and whatnot so a lot of things that we can do to prepare but i think in this case we definitely want to get rid of infantry so again those guys are tired so we are killing two because there was one revealed symbol here and the rest will be suppressed. I still think that this is okay. The problem now is we have to see or we have to resolve a jam check. So we are basically rolling a die and I think, yeah, let's see, that's very strange. No, I think in this case, if it's lower, the artillery gets jammed. So yeah, the first shot basically jammed the gun. Um, 
we can in theory still use it but first of all we have to basically repair that or as part of repair action but we haven't spent any resources or workflows whatsoever this round to prepare for that case but yeah that was very <laughs> unfortunate let's resolve our supply run first of all we are going to do the count patrol so we are taking out this patrol and this patrol unfortunately they go back to the back then these fellas will move and at least this guy should make it back home, right? We are moving five and he's not suffering from any penalties. One, two, three, four, five, exactly. So our morale goes up by one. Um, we're getting two here and we are adding another mistoken to the hit bag. And yeah, this one also goes up by one, but so far so good, I think. Think. Yeah, let's remove this one here. Those go in here. Again, I would normally move it here to the five, but as I'm going to spend those relatively soon, let's not worry about that. And yeah, let's not forget this hunter is now tired, but we still have this volunteer out. One, two, three, and four, unfortunately. Didn't quite make it back, but still we were able to get all the supplies out of this supply depot. That's at least something. Then we are resolving the map room. So we get to choose or get to look at the top three cards of the snow deck here. So we have a oh, one morale and one ice water generated. Two morale and the field telephone. Ooh, so many decisions. But right now I feel like going for this one actually. Yeah, let's go for the easy win. We are basically reactivating the generator it simply goes on top of this but as we have repaired uh, the second space of the mat room we are now also moving this once to the left i'm not sure if the excess movement is carrying over to this one so it was only one step so then we would basically gain this the generator and I'm not sure then it would reset and then I'm not sure if this would basically move to a two again if this would spill over. I think it does for all of the others. So when we are losing defense, I think we are losing everything we can and then reset and keep going. I think this should also apply for this one here, just to be fair. But we are also adding one, two morale in here. We are still losing one morale. Of course, I forgot that. So we are not getting a card, but we are also not suffering from a low morale card. That's at least something. This card is out of the game. Then we are resolving the infirmary. So we are healing this guy, goes to the tired area. He's also quite tired and they basically auto heal by one stage. At least we have one more bed available, but we will definitely see some folks appearing here in the waiting area. Wow. Okay, then we are dealing with the morale modifiers and I think I was too quick. Mm, we are basically losing one here because we are at a red day. We have no defenders in the waiting area, no defender in the morgue, but we have soldiers in the red sectors. And the rules are unfortunately not specific if that also counts for suppressed infantry. So for now, in order not to cheat, I will definitely do that, which means we are now triggering this. So we get to draw two low morale card and have to resolve one. Um, Yeah, in this case, that's an easy one. We are simply losing one. Oh, crap. I just noticed something. Mm, we should still be here. I think I resolved at least two of those high morale ca cards the wrong way. Okay, I cannot take that back, but I will play that correctly now. We are still here. For whatever reason, I triggered this as to siege one. Now I see that. Oh, is that different? No, it's not different on the high morale cards. So that's totally on me. Apologies for that. I will leave a comment. But okay, that's me. So in this case, we injure one defender or we are adding one patrol. We have just gotten rid of two patrols. So I guess we are adding one more. Again, I'm not sure if that's the end of the world. So I think, hmm, I don't, I think we resolved these ones, right? Um, repair damage tile. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I think this would have been a much, maybe that's okay. That's, that's really totally on me. Let's do that here. That's the patrol we are adding there. Again, I cannot take it back. But yeah, I think hmm, maybe in order to penalize me a little bit, let's not add this one. I think this is not the worst thing in the world. Let me remove this one and instead also go for the stronger. I think really losing a supply is the much 
bigger deal in this case. Yeah, let's let's do that. So in order to penalize myself, because the high morale cards are also more powerful um, in here. So repair one damage tile is not bad. Move the small marker. I think that's kind of the same. But when we compare it to this one here, where we gained two of those, um, yeah, that's definitely a much stronger thing. So let me definitely penalize me a little bit on that. I have already reset this. Um, I think we can pretty much ignore that. We are not in the siege step. Um, we are not adding any more patrol markers. We are not in the coup, but we are in the retreat step of the game, which means we are placing our first artilleries on the map. And those are obviously definitely still prototype components. They look pretty cute and nice, but I'm pretty sure we can do better than that. They go onto the yellow line because right now we are in the yellow stage of the game. Once more, we are moving the supply marker one step to the right and we are lowering our defenses. So the game will be over relatively soon and premature, that's for sure here. And then we are removing the first attack board from the main board. We move any soldiers from the first attack board into sector one of the main board. That's at least something. And we place one status tile on the machine gun action space. I think they can all go down here into the first sector. So this board is pretty much removed. They all go back down in here. Nice. So we have way more things to deal with though. But more and more infantry will come. And now we are also dealing with some more grenades. So things will really get very, very ugly now. Okay, let's also add the status tile here onto the machine gun. Works pretty similar in respect to this jam mechanics um, compared to the artillery or to our gun in this case. And then we are moving into the siege one step. Let's draw the event card accordingly. And now things will really get nasty. We have nice weather. <laughs> It's a small comfort, but the German infantry are advancing to the wall. So we are resolving those icons basically left to right. In this case, we are simply adding two more hit tokens from the air raid or so on um, token to the hit back. So again, things really get very, very nasty. Then we are basically doing the artillery attack. Or maybe I should really do the event first. Move up to three unsuppressed folks from sector one up one sector. We can easily do that. So one, two, three. Right now, not necessarily the end of the world, but again, the artillery attack is pretty bad because now we are looking at the top most revealed um, number not covered by an artillery space. And that's basically the five in here. So really nasty stuff. Let's start to draw. And we have a miss. The problem with those misses, they don't go back to the back. It's at least something small relief. I take that. Then we have basically lost defense position B. I think let's continue to draw and then resolve those in order. At least I think we have also lost defense position A. Isn't that lovely? Then we are losing one supply. And last but not least, oh, we are basically getting <laughs> another artillery onto the map. This one is simple. It simply goes out of the game, but at least it served us well. Um, those two are really, really nasty because we have just lost defense position A and defense position B. Of course, both of those folks are getting wounded. Now I have to roll them in order actually. So we are stuck because we only have one bed available. So this fella now goes into the bed with the number I rolled. That's a four, okay. Hmm. And the second fella goes also to a four. Okay, in this case, this was somewhat okay. But still, having folks here in the infirmary in the waiting area is not great. This one is also rather simple. I believe they are not getting back, but we are losing one supply in here. Wow, one more. And this one definitely goes back to the hit back and increases this marker by one. And when this hits another artillery, we are bringing it out accordingly. Isn't that lovely? Obviously, we are still not done yet. We still have to bring out six more German infantry. And I think four more can go in here. And two, oops, two more have to go in here. So yeah, both of those sectors are 
fully loaded. The good thing is right now they are not encountering us with any grenades and so, but they will continue to move up and we only have one fella in here. The good thing is we can never lose this fella here, at least not through these hit tokens. They can still be um, defeated through, through normal hits in here. And keep in mind, we only have one more defense left. And oh boy, this is so bad. This is so bad. And another problem is we are not drawing any more defenders from the back. So this is what we have to deal with today. Yeah, and we have three supplies. We are getting one a two bag this round and right now the supplies are only worth two again we are now pretty much in a siege so no one can really come in and no one can join us to help us so in this case <laughs> so bad so we are spending let's say two which would move four of those folks over here four right no that's four let's not cheat ourselves i think we need the medic for sure and i also think we need to do that once more so we are doing this. This now really comes back to bite us um, because we have really, I was really bad at, at doing this whole jet pull thing. So we get two more, right? So I guess we are going for a hunter. And I think we are going for another soldier. And those guys, I believe, can still go in here, actually. Wow, yeah, the main problem really is having four folks now here in the infirmary. I think this also didn't really help. But okay then, let's do some planning. And we definitely, I think let's really start with a obvious choice. We are sending one medic in here. So this will auto heal this fella and we could heal this fella now with this, which means he will then auto move into one of those beds once they become available. We also have to repair something. This also goes without saying, so we are going to do that maybe yeah why not i would love to start a new supply run the problem is in this pathway here um we have something here we could one two three four five six we could make it in there if we are getting rid of one of those patrol markers and maybe that's the idea <sighs> but we are not I guess we are going down but still i have to try that right so we are starting a new supply run here and we are also assigning someone here and then we have our officer still available and the only meaningful thing that he can do right now he's not shoveling snow i guess he has to inspire Buyer. So if we are extremely lucky, we may be able to resolve a high morale card this round. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, no, uh, I'm so stupid. I totally forgot this one here. <laughs> the infantry. I was so carried away by all of this. So let's let's resolve that now. So we are starting, I think, does it? No, I think it doesn't matter. We are starting down here. Are you kidding me? Okay, mm -hmm. so everyone but one is actually, so this is a hit and the rest basically, so that's the hit, this is nothing and this is four and five, yeah, they all move one space up. Wow, let's do the second row. Okay, that's a little bit better. So they are not doing anything, but here we have a hit. No, that's basically two hits on this column. And yeah, three are basically staying here, which is more bad news, of course. So let's start to hit everyone, which means these guys are hitting us. These guys are hitting us for three hits in total. Our defense is only a one, which means we have to wound this fella and he's going on to a six the problem is um he has to go to the waiting area as well so we dealt with all the hits they do that first actually and then these guys will move they cannot go in here so they will immediately go in here so as of the next round we will also see some happy grenade action isn't that lovely but of course this would have changed stuff hmm do i want I mean, I need this fella in here, right? But he's doing one hit, one hit per defender. So the best that they can do is to be 
basically suppress one measly fella here. So I guess we need the repair. We really do need the repair. Oh boy, this is horrible. Let's not change that. Let's leave it at that. Again, I will be game over in a minute. So we are not doing defend the walls. We cannot use our cool no new machine gun. We cannot go for a reckless defense, unfortunately. We have no artillery, so we are starting our supply run. So this fella will move out here. This soldier will do a counter patrol and will take out, I believe, this one here. We cannot take out an artillery with a counter patrol, which I think kind of makes sense. And then let's move everyone. He will move down. That's a good thing. So he will come back tired. In total, we are getting three more supplies. We really desperately need that. Our thing goes up by six. So when we are now running into a patrol, I think we have to roll lower actually, not to suffer a wound here. So we are definitely not in a good shape here, but at least our morale goes up by one. And this fella will simply move, I think, six spaces, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six into the supply depot up here. But yeah, then let's repair something. Question is, do we want to repair Ungem this one here? It could get damaged basically with the next attack or so. Or should we start to do this? Because then we could use our machine gun. And just to show that you, I think we are going to repair this one here. Unfortunately, again, it goes back to the hit back. This game is brutal. Those guys are tired. And then last but not least, also something I did for maybe it's a good thing. Actually, we are triggering our officer here who will then increase our morale by one. And then we can go into the infirmary. This doctor will heal one and two. He will also come back. So one of those will come automatically in here. And I think we will go for... Hmm. We will go for this one, actually. I like that better, I think. Do I get to choose, actually? I think I do get to choose. So let's leave it at that. I think, yeah, the first thing that will happen, unfortunately, is the relapse, which means this fella is moving down. And then we are going to the recovery those two fellas will be released basically. So he is now available here. And I think this one also goes up by one. Cool. So we have those two fellas back. Unfortunately, they are all tired. Um, but we will gain those two folks back. At least I think and hope. Okay, let's resolve this. There is no red date. We have supplies. We have nothing in the waiting area. No one in the morgue yet. And uh, infantry didn't make it into the red sector. So we leave it at this, which means we are drawing three high morale cards and resolve two. And hopefully this time I will play that correctly. Basically choosing the right thing. I think this one, I think both of those are really great. Yeah, let's totally do that. So move two defenders from tired to ready, move two defenders from tired to ready. Okay, that is amazing. Those cards are out of here. We are shuffling this back into the deck. So at least for the next round, we have some options. Uh, let's do those two and let's do those two. I believe here we are okay. Nothing in the morgue. We have no one waiting in the waiting area. We don't have six on those and uh, now we are basically checking this fewer than the required number of healthy defenders right now we are still at five ten i think ten or eleven healthy defenders we can go down to five basically so i think right now we are okay here so the last thing to do no we are adding two more patrol markers out there so let's quickly do that so now we are at siege one so we are looking at this row in here so that's the six and yeah that's bad again ah, I hate that and this one is four which I think might be okay but still blocking our way to this supply depot up there yeah I think that's pretty much game over let's move into the second step of siege one let's draw our next card um, more German artillery has been spotted on the road to Hegra so we are adding one more artillery marker to the hit back here. Same thing applies. We are adding two more of those into the hit back as well. That's the air support. And then yeah, we are triggering the artillery symbol, um, which is still a five. There might be still some more mis tokens in there, but yeah, I'm not so sure about this. 
So that's the defense position A is gone again, but there were no folks in there. That's the map room. That's the good one. That was basically a miss for us <laughs> to some extent. Here we have to injure a defender and here we have a miss. Okay, that's something. And here, oh, that's another artillery. Okay, let's do those left to right. So this simply, again, damages our defense position. This goes to the map room, but I think that's okay. Here we have to injure a defender. In this case, it has to be one of those volunteers. Um, let's see how bad he's doing, but he's still, that's a five, but he's still taking a bat from us. Mm -hmm. Not great, not great. Um, that was this, I think again, this is out. The miss is also out, but it did help us. And yeah, here we are simply moving the marker and adding this back to the hit back. Nice. This time, let's not forget to add six more folks in here. So one, two and three can go in here. One and two can go in here. And the last one has to go in here. And right now I'm not even sure if I didn't forget to add more meeples the last time we are triggered this one. I think we did. I think I did add those. At least I hope. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, also need to adjust the weather to cloudy, but that's also no longer that important, actually. And that was basically this card, and now we are resolving those here, again, from bottom to top. I believe that's how we do that. So let's start with those five folks in here. So that's good, that's good, and these are not good. So they are moving, and they will stay where they are, right? Yeah, that's okay. Then we do the second row. So things, oh, that's not terrible. So we don't do anything. Mm, one will hit us and one will move. But I think there is actually nothing to hit. And I believe if we don't have anyone in here, we are not suffering from any penalties whatsoever. But still, the charge box can be pretty bad, actually. Then we do, um, I think that's sector three. Also five folks, and yeah, we have two grenades. Um, we have two moves, and we have a hit. Again, the hit might not be the problem. Let's do this one here, and that's a four, which means he's then also moving into the charge area. So terrible stuff. And then we are triggering the grenades first. Unfortunately, we have Two plus grenades are rolled, so that's the case. We are lowering our defenses down to a zero. Zero right now is okay, but more than that, we are drawing hit. Draw one tile from the hit back. So that's that. Then we are doing the hits. There is nothing to hit up there. So I guess we can simply move all the hits down, but there weren't that many hits there anyway. And then everyone is moving up here. So they are moving into charge. They are moving in here. They are moving in here. They are moving in here and they are moving in here. So they are basically always making sure to advance. And again, there is a cap of five meeples in each of those sectors. And now things really get juicy because we have someone here in the charge area. And as we don't have a leftmost defender now in the dero, we have to go for the air, which is move one defender from tired area to the morgue and place the infantry into the reserve. So that's at least something we are losing this, but we have also suffered our very first casualty in this case. So from now on, we are losing one morale at the end of each turn, basically for each defender that's here in the morgue. And if we have three or more, then our surrender track will increase. So again, this game will not last much longer. Okay, then let's do... Oh no, we can still spend supply. So those guys are moving over. We are spending one supply to move this guy in here. And should we do that too? I mean, this might be our last turn anyway. So come on, let's spend it. <laughs> so we are going down in a blaze of glory, obviously. And then, yeah, let's plan our actions. So we definitely do want to do a counter patrol, but I guess we are not sending out any more supply runs, that is. 
Let's definitely send the medic in here to the infirmary. And I think we are adding someone in here. That's the one piece I completely forgot was around the charge thing. That if we don't have anyone here, we are really losing someone into the morgue. So that was pretty brutal. I think we are also going to bolster now. And up next, we are sending this volunteer into the reckless defense. We are injuring this fella for sure, but at least he will take two of those fellas with him. I think that's really incredibly important. Huh, let's also repair stuff. And then why not let's inspire once more, maybe the last time in the game or so. Let's see how things go. Okay, then let's resolve our actions. We are starting with this fella, so he's rolling one die. He can basically reach everyone, yeah, everyone. So that's only a three, so we are only suppressing one anyway. So in this case, it doesn't really matter, but he's still around. So if someone charges in here, that might still help. All right, maybe not. No, no, let's not do that. Let's do suppress this one because he has to take out basically both of those. Next, we are doing the reckless defense. So those guys are really killed, but we also have to injure this fella. And that's a four. Okay. And he has to go to the raiding area, right? Because there is no place whatsoever. Okay. Juicy. We are not sending out a new supply run, but we are doing the counter patrol in this case. So we are taking out this fella. All right. Ah, and I think we are not making it back. I didn't think this through. Okay. And now we are moving this fella. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, only still not suffering from the penalty, but it's not enough to make it here to Hegra. Let's repair. And I think this time we have to unjam the artillery. We have to clean out some sectors, actually. <laughs> yeah, then we need to do that. And for this, I really don't know. Should we increase our defenses? Yeah, let's, or should we add a mistile? I mean, there are a lot of tokens in here now, but adding one more defense might be still more important. Important. Yeah, let's do that. So they go back in here and we have increased our defenses. Again, I'm not sure if this will help us, but at least maybe we are drawing one last draw tile from the hit bag. I don't know. And then, yeah, last but not least, we are inspiring, um, which means we are moving this one up, but we are losing it here again due to yeah this problem of the dead guy basically here in the morgue. Um, yeah, we all still have to do that, of course. Oh, that's now an interesting one. I mean, he's auto healing. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. So we are moving this fella up. The medic is tired. Then we are doing this. So they move down because there is no bad. They will both move up. And then this basically frees up this space. And he's also moving up right. I think I did not move them. Yeah, yeah I think that is okay. Ugh, still not great. Yeah, it's not a red day. We are not out of supplies. We have no defenders in the waiting area, but we have a defender in the morgue and that's per defender in the morgue. So we are losing our progress here. But right now, no soldiers in red sectors. That's at least something. I believe we are not increasing our surrender track here. We have to check for the siege. Fewer than the required number of healthy defenders left. That's okay. We are still at four, five, I think it's 10 now exactly or 11 I think we still have one out there in the, on the tactical map so still not a problem we don't have anything special here but now we are moving into siege 2 so things will get even more nasty so let's draw our next card but it's nice and friendly isn't that lovely watch the flanks okay move all unsuppressed folks from sector 1 up one sector and I believe Boop, boop, they all have to go into sector four now. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, we have changed the weather. We are adding two more tokens into the hit bag from our um, air support thing. I mean, we are not too far away, but yeah, this looks really grim now. Then we are still drawing five tokens here. So here is one. That's the gun. Oh no, we just repaired the gun. You must be kidding me. We are losing one, okay. That's game over. Um, there is nothing we can do. We are losing one morale. Yeah, yeah we have a miss. Hey, hooray. So amazing. And another artillery. Okay. Yeah, I think we don't have any, <laughs> any workers left then because we are not out of supplies. 
Oh, that's so bad. So the gun is damaged again. Hooray. We are losing our one and only supplier. This was really a bad timing. Um, this was that. We are losing one morale. Let me quickly do that. That's a miss. That's a good thing, but it's out of here. And we are increasing our artillery track and this goes back to the hit bag and yeah i think we are running out of hit tokens also i believe yeah it's here if the hit bag is empty and you need to draw more tiles resolve the drawn tiles and move the surrender marker one level up i think we are not doing this for everything that is missing but for every draw and this could be one single draw and this is empty then we may really lose the game that way but again the game will be over relatively soon we are adding six more folks in here uh, i think everyone else needs to go up and then yeah we have to resolve those <laughs> but wow this fellow is still here isn't that lovely um okay that's a two doesn't do anything the rest does something so so he's not doing anything. He's moving in here and the rest, they will all move. And I think the charge can take an infinite amount of folks, as far as I remember. Let's do sector two. Let's do that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> maybe, maybe that's a good thing, actually, because there's not a lot to hit, actually. Maybe this was really a good roll, actually. We are losing this fella for sure. But okay, so here's a grenade. Um, this one doesn't do anything. The f oh, that was the one. Oh, we only should have rolled um, mm, four dice now. Actually, so I have to re-roll that. So because otherwise I would choose. So let's re-roll that. It was a good roll for us. Oh, it's better now. So we have two. Um, the four is moving in here, and here we have another hit. But again, that doesn't do anything. And here we are also rolling four dice. Um, that's another grenade. That's another grenade. So we are losing one more defense. Mm, and this is a move. Ah, we are losing another one to the morgue. And I think that's that. So let's resolve the grenades. We have two in the grenade. Um, which means we are lowering our defense. This unfortunately happens first. But it doesn't matter too much because we are now hit for five, six, seven times. Yeah, which may definitely be enough for this lonely fella. So let's see where he goes. And I think he was in an okay shape, but I think we have a bad available even for him. Cool. And then everyone else is... Oh no, I think... Are these guys really all moving? So, okay, this guy needs to move in here. This guy can move in here, so he will stand up. They are all being taken care of. They have shot. They will move. So one is moving in here. One is moving in here, and I think he also has to go to the charge, which means we are losing two more soldiers in there, or two more defenders. At least these guys are out. Now we have to kill basically two folks from the thing. And... The rules say for injuries and for lose something, we have to follow this procedure here from bottom to uh, from top to bottom. Here for the move thing, I'm not sure if I get to choose or not. I will not, just not to cheat, because it will be over anyway. So we are losing our officer. Again, that's basically us. And then we are losing a soldier, again, from the tired area that is. Yeah, I think that's it. We are not going to make those folks available unfortunately which means we can move up to two folks in here does it matter let's move no let's go for for the medic here so we can do that up to two times but it's still not good enough to plan for any actions whatsoever the ready area is basically empty so um the only thing that we do in this case is to return this hunter here again if this will not help us we are getting two more supplies and we are increasing our morale basically twice actually. It was at minus one. Did I forget something to trigger? 
I don't know. We are losing anyway, so let's not worry about that too much. Then we do this. They will all move up by one. We have nothing here in the waiting area. That's at least something. But that's pretty much the end of our turn. So we are losing a lot of morale. One, because we are at a red day. Hooray. We are not out of supplies. We ha don't have any defenders in the waiting area. But we have three folks in the morgue right now. One, two and three. And up next, um, we are also losing one because we have soldiers in the red sector, which means we are losing one defender in this case, but I think it will stay here where it is. Again, we have to lose one of our folks here. The, oh, wow, that's a one. Goes into the waiting area, unfortunately. But actually, we are not injuring him. We are losing him. So I think he's simply out of the game. Yeah, yeah it's not moving to the morgue but it's still out of the game. Then we are drawing four low morale cards and resolve three of those. So now I can really show you how brutal this game is. We are now at Siege 2. Move the Surrender Marker one level up. Let's try to, oof, let's try to not do that. Move the Supply Marker one step to the right. If this is turn 11, instead draw two hits. So I think we can do that. So we are resolving this card for now. Again, it doesn't really matter. So this card is resolved. We need to do two more. Draw two tiles from the hit back. Let's increase, I don't know, this, these are equally bad actually. So we are moving. No, I think not. I don't feel like surrendering. So this card goes back to the deck. We are resolving those two cards. First of all, we are doing this one. Draw two tiles from the hit back. If you choose this card but cannot resolve it, draw one tile from the hit back and resolve it instead. Okay, that's fine. So that's the artillery, so we're increasing this by one, but we have to do that too. But it goes, no, I think we have to do draw two tiles, first of all. And we have to injure one defender, that's really a soldier now, another one, but again, doesn't matter. Goes to the four in this case, so this time it's really done. This is out of the game, but this goes back, because now we are resolving the second card here. So let's see, and that's another artillery, and the second one, at least we can still draw those. And we are also losing one morale. Um, the morale goes back to zero anyway, so I think we are now reducing it down to a minus one. At least I think. At least I think. I could be wrong. Um, maybe this resets only after we have resolved all of those cards. Then we would lose another defender on the other hand. No, I think... Let's leave it like this. And again, this token goes back into the hit back. So we have dealt with our low morale cards. Wow. Okay then, let's see. Um, we are here. Three or more defenders in the morgue. Yeah, that's the case. So this one goes up by one. So we are already on the surrender stage. In theory, we could bring this down by using our artillery, which is of course severely damaged. We still don't have six things out. Hmm, that's okay. Now we have to check this one. Fewer than the required number of healthy defenders defenders left and I think we just have enough one two three four five six indeed but we will lose the game at the end of this round because with all of those things are terrible we'll still bring out three more patrols but I think this doesn't matter anymore too much this is a one this is a six and this is also a six I think we are not moving anyone out anyway. We cannot really afford that. I mean, we are getting some folks here back and we do have some supplies left, so we can in fact do stuff, but yeah, let's not count on it. And I just noticed something. We were already on a red space, so maybe our morale should have moved one step further down, so we would have lost another soldier. I think so. I think so. So let's move in here. So that's basically the penultimate turn. So we made some progress, but yeah, we still have to make it here. Let's draw our next card. And now it's just brutal to watch. I mean, it's still cloudy now. We are losing one, two, three morale in this case, which means we are losing another defender. In this case, it has to be another soldier. This is out again. Losing means it goes out to the reserve. We are drawing um, tiles from that hit back here. The problem is we don't have enough hit tokens left in there. And as we don't have any more hit tokens in there, we are moving up our surrender step to the unconditional surrender. So we have given up.
Wow, 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 wow. But yeah, I've never won this game. This is simply a brutal game, but still so highly enjoyable. It's really such a job well done. The artwork looks stunning. Overall, very thematic feel, very crunchy decisions. Yes, it has some luck elements in respect to the chits you are pulling, in respect to the dice you are rolling and what cards are coming out in which order, but still such an enjoyable exercise. I really enjoyed this game a big deal. Yeah, again, you can back this on Kickstarter. And yes, you will find a link to the campaign, obviously. And before I leave you to it, huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there. Really do appreciate all your support. And yeah, with that being said, go back this game and hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. And until then, bye bye.